Listen to the show and peep what these dudes bring If you didn't know it's an orange and blue thing Hope to win the championship in a few rings We're talking baseball It's an orange and blue thing Walk off if the game's tied like shoestrings It's a Mets podcast, orange and blue thing Beat the other team with defense in a few swings LFGM, it's an orange and blue thing What's up, Mets fans? Um, for the first time in the history of the show, I always say that Julia likes to cut it close. I actually started the show when she wasn't even in the room yet for the first time. Because we say 1230 and I'm like, I make a joke of it. We make uh-huh. a joke of it each week. I just did a live on Instagram and I'm like, I kind of like that Julia walks in like the skin of her teeth at 1230 each week or, or 1229. But today you actually walked in at 1231. I have excuses. You, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> your dog get your homework, whatever it may be. I think that's that honestly not far fetched. The only thing that I didn't get to do prior to the show was uh, set the exposure on this camera because I'm wearing white and I think we're we're like a little blown we're, out today. We're very bright. A little bright. So that's fine. Sorry about that. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> um, I was just gonna say that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't touch it because then something will get fucked up. Whatever. <laughs> We're good. Uh, So the Mets are 58 and 35, two and a half games up on the Braves. It is officially the all-star break. Um, Wild. Yeah. So last week, our show, we said that was the biggest series of the season. The Mets were rolling into Atlanta. Yes. And uh, it feels like forever ago. It does. And fans, well, we had a lot going on this past weekend. (laughs) Fans were saying like, oh, they'll, they'll be lucky if they don't get swept or, you know, if they go two and one, whatever, or one and two. And they ended up going. You know, they won two out of three. They right. won the series, rolled into Chicago. Mm-hmm. They didn't, they went three and one in Chicago, but all those games were easily losable as well. It's yeah, not like they that, went was, in and that like, was mildly concerning. Right. They didn't go in there and like <laughs> blow the doors off, but no. they did get to the All Star break and they are two and a half games up on the Braves, which I looked at the schedule and I put a little tweet out about this a little while ago. Okay. And let us know in the comments, guys, if this is like super bright and annoying to you to watch, then we will maybe <laughs> fuck with the exposure for a second. But, uh, for you know, my, I didn't have time today. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not have time today. Sorry, um, this one's on me. So I happened to be looking at the schedule a little while ago, and if you didn't see it, a little tweet that went out between August fourth and August eighteenth, the Mets will play the Braves nine times. So they already had a four game scheduled uh, series planned for the fourth to the fourth was to the seventh mm-hmm. and then when the season started late which it's kind of like hard to remember i know that this already that didn't it started start on late time. you know lockout whatever like right it is what it is but now they're making games up so that four game series is now turning into a five game series Holy with crap. saturday being a double header so thursday friday saturday double header then sunday and then the reds come into town uh for three they're off for a day phillies come to town and then the mets go to atlanta for a four game set Damn. so within From the 1st to the 20th, the Mets have one off day. And they're playing the Braves nine times. August is going to be make or break season. August is going to be insane. So, damn, yeah. The trade deadline. I didn't realize that. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, I was just doing my little little work this morning to (laughs) come up with this sheet and see what we're going to talk about. Because, you know, this is a Mets show and there's a lot of stuff going on with the Mets. But we don't always talk about the Mets. (laughs) So, for this week, there is a lot to talk about. L-F-G-M. That was so fucking loud, I think. If really that was loud. loud for you guys as well, I'm sorry. But <laughs> there is a lot to talk about with the Mets, thankfully. And, um, you know, those nine games are going to be very important because obviously the Mets and the Braves have been kind of, um, you know, the they're, that's for me, I think right. that's the division. I don't yeah. think the Phillies are coming back and bouncing over both of us. I so. agree. And I feel like that's going to be the most anxiety I've had watching regular season baseball since that that late September series, or I think it was early September series with the Nationals in 2015 when they were in D.C. And that was like such a make or break series. And I feel like that's going to be the entire month of August is going to be that level of anxiety. Yeah, it's going to so. be crazy. And, you know, with the trade deadline coming up, we'll yeah. talk about last night. I hope I'm not sure if you watched and you had a busy night last night, but last night with the home run derby, not unfortunately, Pete lost. Yeah. Um, but Starling Marte was like the star of the show in my eyes because he's not playing today. He oh. he decided to not play. Right. He's, uh, been, he's been battling injury, yeah. but I guess that opened up a spot for Freddie Freeman to play, which is cool. Okay. Um, you know, cool for Freddie, whatever. But right. last night, Soto 
every single time you saw Soto, Marte was like right there. Either bring But they're him good more. friends, right? I was reading on the internet. I don't know if this is rumor. I'm not, it's, this isn't like a federalist exclusive, <laughs> but uh, supposedly some people were saying that they're cousins, but they didn't talk about oh, that at all. I don't on know the if broadcast. they're cousins. I just read that they would like work out together in right, the offseason. Right. So I don't know. I don't know what the what the story is with that, but Soto Recruiting. and Marte were like, oh, Marte was all over it. Yeah. So when Soto won, Marte's jumping around with him. You know, obviously. Did he, so, I didn't even, I saw the first round and then I yeah. watched Soto won. Yeah, I didn't Soto even know won. who won. Soto won. Okay. I just uh, like, didn't. Yeah, we we put some bets down on it last night with our group chat. Um, yeah, it is win? what it is. But anyway, so that that's the story with last night. Did anyone win those bets? Yeah, yeah, we want to. You know, I I'm up a little bit, a couple bucks. You know, not you know, I wasn't blowing the doors off the bankroll there. Uh, but by the way, dollars. not to jump around here, but do you know I won 164 dollars at Jake's 58 on Saturday? I lost 300 dollars in 45 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> what what the big wheel? My big wheel. I didn't even mm -hmm. see it. How could you miss it? It's a big wheel. I don't know. My entire plan was to go into Jake's on Saturday after the wedding. Shout out to Katie and Chris. Congratulations. Um, with the plan of playing roulette. I hate I hate video. I, yeah, I, there, there's no live dealers. At Jake's right. I, and I don't like that because it happens so quick. You don't have right. time to get your money in before the ball starts spinning. When you go to a real table, right. it's kind of like a pause. Everyone buys in. You get your chips, whatever. I was like, you know what? I only have $300 on me. I brought this on purpose to only bet roulette. And I'm only doing black. And I'm getting in and out. So I put right. $200 on black loss, <laughs> put my next $100 on black loss. I was like, I'm done. Done. So whatever it was, I, I knew what I was getting into. It's a 50, well, it's less than 50% chance because right. if you land on green, but um, that's the story with that. But anyway, back to the Mets for <laughs> a second. So uh, last night, the, well, since you missed it, I want to ask yes. you if you know who this person is, okay. because I had no idea of this Conan singer. Gray. Do you, you know this person? He's, he's very popular with the youths. Okay. So, uh, he's a little young for me, but I know of him. Okay. So Cody. Conan. Co Co Connor. Conan. <laughs> Conan Gray. <laughs> Conan Gray comes out with his all-star game jersey tucked into his like bell-bottom jeans. And yes. I'm like, all right, let's give this kid a chance. Yes. The anthem starts. It was to his credit. I don't know what kind of music this kid sings, uh -huh. but it was he was singing over the organ version of the national ah. anthem, which may be a little bit more difficult. I right. don't know, but it was not a very good performance at all. No, uh, I didn't hear it. Bad. I saw, I saw him on the screen, but I didn't hear it bad. Oh. And, but the tucking the Jersey in was worse than the singing in my opinion, but it was, Stop. it was That's not his good style. He's, he's young. He's a youth. He's best friend. He Olivia likes Rodrigo. Crocs. He probably likes Crocs. Probably. I got new ones. Check them out. They're I, so blue. They're very blue, <laughs> but they're also, let me show the camera. They're the upgraded version, I feel like, with the stripe. Look at that. I can't. So. I got to get some orange charms here. Are, so, you, are you making the argument that Crocs are youthful? Yes. That's what it you, is. Yeah, yeah. Crocs okay. are definitely for the kids. Uh, and I'm trying to turn the clock back. <laughs> the other day at the wedding, uh -huh. you know, everyone's taking their couple's photos next yes. to that little bridge. Uh, at Flower Field, and I take mine with Kelly, and obviously I outkicked my coverage big time because people were like sweating her dress and oh the my comments, God. like Kelly's... all the girls were friends with. Yeah, Kelly looked dope Kelly on looked Saturday. Um, and I'm looking at myself in the pictures. I say this often. It looks like that. Remember that app that makes you look old? <laughs> and I'm looking at the pictures. Like, remember last year you had to let me know that I have gray when hair. You found out live on air you have gray hair. I thought that. You know, when guys have shorter hair, it just seems like it's see through. And I was like, oh, it's just because I have like a sh like a buzz cut on the side. And I'm looking at this picture of us. I'm like, holy shit. Like, it looks so white. Well, you also always wear hats. I feel like you never actually see your hair. You have to look at this picture because Especially then I showed photos. Richie immediately. And I'm like, my hair is not this gray. I don't feel. But it <laughs> it it stands out so much in this picture that it's. I thought it was a lovely photo. No, look at the this. You, you. That doesn't sound what it looks like. <laughs> Right or it does. I don't. I. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I never. I always see you with the hat on, so I never get to. But really you're looking. Get a good look. You can look at it right now. It doesn't look that white. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Could have been the lighting. <laughs> Maybe you need a touch of gray. All right. Listen, we have a lot to cover today, and we're all over the board. <laughs> but number one, because I always forget to do this. Share the show. Share the show. <laughs> share the show. I'll tell you at the end. I'll tell you at the beginning. I'll tell you now. I don't even know what how long we've been on the air. 10 minutes already, Ten minutes. which is crazy. Yeah. Share the show to be in the running for the free merch from our friends at Coney Island, Coney Island Brewing. We can't give you beer because that's illegal. Right. But we do have a whole bunch of merch from them. Uh, koozies, pint glasses, bottle openers, shirts, hats. We're getting some more stuff in the mail soon. Uh, I don't know if I said pint glasses, but 
Uh, they also mailed these like cool tin uh, signs. Says like Coney Island looks like a, awesome. a subway, uh, kind of like a subway sign. Mm -hmm. So share the show right now to be in the running. Each week we select a winner, one on Facebook, one on Twitter to win the free stuff. So all you have to do is share the show if you're watching on Facebook and hit the little retweet button if you're watching on uh, Twitter. Post it so on your wall. Howie says post on your wall. I like it's this one, even one. though it doesn't make sense. Swipe it to the right. Swipe it to the Swipe right. It to the right. I like snap it to the chat. Snap it to the chats <laughs> I go into. Uh, so just do that, and then we will select the winner. May as well do that right now, though, because I already contacted these people Let's and got their addresses. Go. Um, on Facebook, Eli Greenfield is so excited because Ooh. he asks every week in the chat, like, if he's <laughs> ever going to win. Oh, look, he already knows because I already told him. Yay, he says, Eli. So excited. So Eli is the winner on Facebook. And on Twitter, it is Bri at Brian Hellman. So Brian and Eli, your Coney Island swag packages will be going out uh, soon because I already have your addresses. So Amazing. Shout out to you guys for that. We will get to some other fun stuff we have going on with Coney Island in just a little bit. But so um, last night, Pete Alonzo lost. Yes. It was going to be very difficult to, I, I think, to do the three Pete. So um, I do, too. It's happened. A lot of pressure. It's too. happened, I think, once. I think Griffey may have won three times, but not three times in a row. Right. So he it would have been the first, I think. And I think he said he'll keep going back like he'll do. He would keep doing it again. Yeah. But I think the whole thing with him also was he kind of made a statement to say, like, I'm only going uh, if I'm an all star. Right. And then he ended up being an all star. So that's why he was there. But, you know, for some reason, Pete was getting like a, a certain amount of hate on the Internet last night. Um Mainly because people are like, why does he take this so serious? He got like, this last year, too. But number one, like, he takes it serious because he's a competitive person. Right. And, number and he two, wants to win a million dollars. And all of the money, he, all of the money he said last night was in the past. It was a portion of it last night. All of that money was going to go to charity. Because so, now he's been paid. A couple right. of years ago, like, exactly. he, he made more that night a couple of years exactly. ago and still gave away half his money right. to the Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, no, no. Tunnels for Towers. I think it was both. I think someone to one woman. Right, right, right. Uh, when he was making not, pe you know, to us, it's, it's right. a lot. But to most people in his profession, it's not. Uh, much. He was not making much. He was right. making a league minimum and still gave away half his money. Right. Um. So it's also like, I don't know. Why would you want to go? It's if you're going in, you're putting a whole extra day of work and exhaustion on your body at a time that you don't have to like you might as well take it seriously and try to win like, right 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 whatever i can't people find so it dumb. but there's the photo people it was like a, a meme going around last night with uh he was sitting there like i know the picture you're talking meditating about. yeah like, focusing like whatever and he did that last year too oh, there, there it go. is <laughs> uh there's the sound if, if it was on your uh your bingo board for that noise to go off at 13 at minutes 12 45 there it is but um, he was sitting there, you know, meditating, focusing, whatever, right. doing his thing in like the tunnel, uh, which I kind of like that he wasn't out sitting with like the rest of the competitors yeah. in the crowd or whatever. He was kind of just focusing. Like I got, a, I got a job to do. Right. Um, but people were like, uh, me in the Uber at 3 a.m. like trying not to throw up. Like people somebody were... was like, like uh, me in the car pretending to be asleep so my parents will carry me in. <laughs> You know what? I, this is totally unrelated, but talking about pretending, uh -huh. I'll wear headphones out in public, like to like Starbucks or whatever. Oh, yeah. Not listening to anything. Well, that's as a woman, that's like a defense mechanism when you're out in public. I just like, don't yourself. talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Not Especially the people like in the city, walking down the street. Like, I don't hear you. I'm not going to. Not that many people like really want to sit there and talk to me. But like, if right. I'm getting like some shit done at the coffee shop and I'm wearing a Mets hat, people are like, oh, they yeah. want to. Not seven line. Like I want to just talk about right, talk like I'm Mets. doing something right now. Yeah. I don't really want to chat, you know. I know. So if you see me out and I'm wearing headphones, probably means don't uh, talk to me. Yeah, just leave me alone. <laughs> uh so yeah. Um and number one, not number one, but another funny thing last night, because he was playing a Acuna in round one. Yes, that I saw. I saw round he was one. Uh, he was sitting there like texting. Yeah. Or, Whatever. Just didn't even want to watch because he knew. Well, he none was of not that. They win. they pan over. They're like, all right, let's check in with what what the fuck Pete Alonso is doing. Right. And this is Pete Alonso uh, when you know Acuna is sitting there like texting. Pete's <laughs> deadlifting what like eight hundred pounds, <laughs> doing his thing. He's such an alien. Which is, I feel like if you're the Mets social team, like I don't know if that was Will Carafelio or right. who went out there to like cover um you know the 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 get the coverage for s not s y for the mets right for pete it's gotta almost feel awkward too like all right i'm gonna like in full uniform <laughs> go to the gym like follow me like 
Do they even talk about that? Is that no, like, I'm sure that's just like he's, he's in like, the zone. This is what I'm doing, and this guy's like, "Do you mind if I follow you around?" And he's like, "No, do whatever yeah. you want." That's probably how that went. <laughs> that got like two million views. I can't. So Pete just like working out two million views. He is. Pete's a little bit of an alien, and I say that with all the love in my heart. Is just he takes things, and I love it. He takes things very seriously, and yeah. it's good. Which is yeah, it's great. Yeah, you have to. Exactly. So I don't know why. You don't I have to. I, I mean, think it's just people on other teams. It's it's easy. To, it's kind of like how I used to find Max Scherzer very easy to like make fun of just because again he takes everything he does so seriously right, right, right. so when he messes up it's really fun or when he wasn't a Met obviously it's like ah whatever I think people kind of feel the same way about Pete Alonso obviously not comparing the players that they are to each other but just how seriously they take things and when you're not a fan of that player how easy it is to kind of pick on it but whatever. Well, that's why it's also you know we say it often until someone's wearing your, like you don't like someone until they're wearing your uniform right and then that's going to happen in a couple of weeks. Like yeah. the, the the roster that we're rolling out there on Friday mm -hmm. or like the lineup on Friday, whatever, is not going to look the same I know. in two weeks. I know. So what's that going to take to get Juan Soto on the Mets? Like, what are you willing to give up? Like, right. honestly, I think this is all smoke yeah. because uh, the National said a couple of weeks ago that they will not trade Soto at, Soto at all or maybe not in the division, whatever it is. I think with them coming out yesterday or a couple of days ago saying like, yes, they would be willing to trade him to the Mets right. is really just to try to get his value up. Like, of course. what are the Mets willing to part with? So then they can then call the Padres yeah. or whatever and be like, well, the Mets said we'll give a, listen, they'll give us Alvarez. Not like, what for are you going to give us? But that's what every team has been doing since Steve Cohen took over was just like using the Mets to like up people's values to other teams, um, which sucks. I, I can't imagine. I think the Mets are getting used right now. And like, we're Agreed. all, we're all like, feeding into Agreed. it because i'm like wow like soto can be a man and i don't think anyone's untouchable at this point I, I, Look at I, I, uh kalanick kalanick how would you say his name he's not even in, like he's doing shit right now yeah and we got diaz you know obviously whatever i always think that that um uh cano was like the throw in right. on that but with this whole thing that's playing out in front of our eyes now because boris is his agent mm -hmm. yesterday soto's doing the press you know saying i love hitting at city field right you know look at my numbers in that ballpark you know everyone's kind of like Using all, the media yeah. to like excel this and get it like to the forefront of like, all right, what are the Mets willing to give? What are the Yankees willing to give? I personally don't think it's going to happen. And listen, Lord knows I've been wrong about many things before, but I can't see the Nationals trading him in division. It's no. like, why would you want to do that to yourself? I do not think Unless he's the going to stay. Ridiculous. I, and I truly believe he's going to get traded because they've now, if the reports are correct, they have made him two massive offers that he's turned down. $400 million. It does not look like he wants to stay or is going to stay. So I think it would be very smart of the Nationals to trade him and get what you can. So I don't think he will be a National by the end of the month, but I do not think he's going to be well, was crazy I would last love night, it if he was. But uh, Rodriguez, right? Julio Rodriguez? Yes. Yeah, he was He was in the finals last night against Soto. And Rodriguez is in a similar situation as Pete was a couple of years ago with the Derby. Right. Like, league min minimum, Yeah, he was whatever. thinking like 700K, I saw. I think it's even less. Yeah. It was like 400. So it's like, whatever it is. Maybe it's seven, whatever it is. Whatever it is. He's making less than the million. That, uh, the prize money. The prize money last night. And he's playing against the guy who just said no to four hundred forty yeah. million dollars. Isn't that wild? Yeah, um, poor guy won. Big difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. T totally big difference. Um, but anyway, speaking of the Derby, I don't know if you saw this, which I first thought this was like a Federalist exclusive, like <laughs> bullshit, and it's not. It's actually real, which I kind of like. Maybe you haven't seen it yet. No. You had a busy day yesterday, so I did. this is legit from uh, Jeff Passan. Uh, fun twist in tomorrow, which is tonight's All Star game. If it is still tied after nine innings, there will be a home run derby to determine the winner. No way. Is this real? Yeah, real. The AL participants will be France, Rodriguez, and Tucker. And the NL participants will be Alonzo, Acuna Jr., and Schwarber. So that's the deal for tonight. Which wow. I was saying baseball is probably rooting for there to be a tie because they know there'll be like excitement. That'll be so this. fun. Yeah. I check out with the All-Star game. I like the introductions. I'm going to be excited to see Diaz and Marte and and Alonzo and McNeil. They'll right. be standing there on the lines doing their little wave. McNeil's starting. McNeil's starting. Love uh, that. Starting second baseman, batting ninth. He will be the starter tonight, which is awesome. So happy for him. Uh, Yeah, big time. Which is crazy too. Like I'm jumping around, but Jeff McNeil, when he was in AAA, he got called up late. He's uh -huh. like 30 already. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, he was doing like construction. He was a roofer. We jobs, talked about this. Like random stuff just to like make ends meet. I know. And you know, 
he just needed his break. He yep. just had to get into the show, and then he's a two-time All Star now. Two-time All Star, and he's starting tonight, which is awesome. So, um, that's definitely really cool. So, yeah. what I'm thinking is, MLB wants there to be a tie tonight, 100. percent And if Magic games are ever real games are decided like this, like I the, know, like overtime in in, well, in NHL, that's like that's thing. how it's actually decided. I shootout. I always thought it was stupid that the All Star game decided home run advantage in the World Series, but I will be honest, since that stopped being a thing, I stopped really caring about it because it doesn't mean anything oh, for the home just, field. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like a game, so. Um, I think they, they realized that people were kind of checking out because, you know, after the first couple inning, what's the point of watching this whole game? Right. Um, so I think that was very smart of them to be like, keep watching. Cause if by the end it's tied, it's, it's worth watching at the end of the game, kind of like a stringing you along to the end. So let us know in the comments yeah. what you think of it. Uh, do you like that just for tonight or would you like that as actual, like a deciding fact? You know how exciting that would be out of game. Though? I know, I it know, but you know how much press. I did, I did it again. I did it. I did it again. You clicking something? I do. Okay. There's something over here. I, you know what? Last time, <laughs> at least I know what, how to fix it this time. Right. Last time that happened, when I ripped the audio and put it up as a podcast, uh -huh. there's probably like a few seconds of just like, well, dead there was air. dead air in the right. middle. People probably felt like their speakers broke. Right. So sorry about that. Um, <laughs> uh, what were we even talking about? Oh, oh, the yes. home run derby. I was going to say the amount of let's say that that decided home field advantage of the World Series. Do you know how much pressure is now on those individual players and how much fans around the league will make them like public enemies if they don't come through? That's so much pressure on the individual player, which I do kind of love, but I don't know if it's fair. Yeah, and I, I don't really know how it works either. So the, it'll be three players on each side, but do they get like a certain amount of pitches to decide? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how it works, but um, so. Whenever I, th I don't know if I talked about this. Whenever I think of the All Star Game, uh, when I was a kid, it always landed when I was on vacation with my family. My, my mm -hmm. grandparents had a timeshare in Virginia Beach, and it was always like two weeks in July, which is a long time for a vacation. But in, that's awesome. In, but we would do like one week, or my other, like my other cousins would do the second week, right. whatever it was. But it always landed during this time of year. Mm -hmm. So I remember like being a little kid watching the All Star Game with my grandpa in Virginia Beach. That's like, awesome. Really cool, really fun like moment um back in the day but speaking of that generation you know obviously my grandfather he's passed away but he's would have been way older than howie rose right. but howie rose put a tweet out last night asking about like um you know what uh you know how big of a deal the all-star game was years ago and like how certainly things have been changing and uh here we go just let me pull this up for oh shit i gotta reshare the screen because i <laughs> fucked this up share screen sorry guys live show i love that it's a live show it's yeah. more fun um all right so this is how he's tweet from last night the all-star game was a big deal to my generation it's not anymore lots of reasons for that if there could be only one though the game or the home run derby which would you choose this proud boomer would still take the game. Not sure that's the majority opinion. So mm. it just coincidentally, he tweeted that after I had, I had already put a poll up about the same question. Great mind. Because um, I think I've done this before just because I'm curious and I, right. I feel like I always know the answer anyway. But I put up a poll a few hours before the Derby just to see what people thought. Yeah. And this is at least on our Twitter what the response was. So what do you look forward to watching more? Uh, the home on Derby, the all-star game, or I don't watch either. And the Derby is the far and away winner with 77.2%. I don't watch either actually beat out the game. Crazy. So I don't watch either is 13.7 and the all-star game is 9.2%. Well, I mean, of I people think who voted on this since they changed the format of the home run Derby a couple years ago, it has been so fun to watch and so exciting. Like I know that there's not usually clocks in baseball, but I love it in this sense. Um, I, again, I, I only got to see the first round yesterday, so I don't know how exciting it was towards the end yesterday, but the last two years were so much fun. So I, and especially since the All-Star game doesn't mean anything anymore, I definitely prefer the home run derby at this point. But if there could be a tie after nine innings tonight, maybe I can have, but again, it would be a home run derby. So right. <laughs> it's always going to come back to the home run derby. That's it's like uh, chicks dig know. the long ball exactly. is what they said. So um, we have a lot to get to, and I don't want to 
I don't want to rush through anything, but we have such an important thing to talk about with TickPick. Of course. And did you see our TickPick like commercial? I know. On Instagram, we're like official representatives of TickPick. I just got a text it's from Shu, and he goes, "This is crazy." And I'm like, "Well, yeah, we're 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 working with TickPick." Kind of a big deal. So. Uh, we use TickPick anyway, and honestly, it just worked out that they yeah. now sponsor the show because we've been using TickPick for a couple I of years I literally now. told Darren, I was like, I talk about TickPick so much anyway. Just reach out to them. <laughs> like, <laughs> why not? I mean, honestly, if you're going to purchase tickets, if it's not from, you know, the Seven Line site or the Met right. site or whatever, and you're looking for a great deal and you don't want to pay fees because who wants to pay fees? Yeah. You go to TickPick, type in Mets see the options of games that are coming up uh -huh. don't pay a fee and you get the tickets right into your ballpark it's a no-brainer which is unbelievable the so, serotonin of seeing the price and then adding it to your cart and it has not changed i i there's no other tickets well, i usually get, that you get to way. the checkout and it's like all right the tickets are 80 bucks right. and then they'll slam you with like 30 dollars in fees exactly but that doesn't happen with TickPick. not here so hit up tickpick.com these are the i'm just showing you on the screen now if you're watching live so the 22nd which is you know this friday you can get into City Field for twenty bucks uh, on Sunday, which might be Jacob Degrom Day. You can get in for twenty bucks as well. So uh, it's also Gil Hodges Hall of Fame bobblehead day, which I didn't know about. Oh, I didn't know that either. Um, I feel like they don't give away bobbleheads usually at night games. Right. It just usually works out where it's like a Saturday day game. And also Saturday they're doing the David Wright giveaway. The, right. The, the Funko Pop. Yes, that. And that's you can get in for twenty nine dollars for Saturday. So Great deals this weekend. All seven o'clock games at City Field Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Go to TickPick.com. Type in Mets. Hit these options here, and you can scroll through and see the different star ratings. So. Each star rating, you know, shows you if it's a good deal, bad deal, whatever. You could scroll through and see the different options of where you want to sit. But if you are, are a first time user, you can use the special promo code OABT to take $10 off your purchase of over $99 or more. So hit them up, purchase tickets, pay no fees, hit the game, get the ticket uh, delivered right to your ballpark app, and then enjoy yourself at the ballpark. But we talked about this last week. Uh -huh. I talked about it on Twitter today. TickPick is giving away. This is crazy. Two tickets to next week's Subway Series. And the way that you could win, I'll tell you in a second. Okay. But the way that you could win <laughs> is, uh, you know, by following the simple rules here. So the cool thing about this, the best part about this is usually when you win tickets for free from somewhere, it's like, here's the tickets. Take it or leave it. If right. you can go, you can go. If you can't, you got to give them to a friend or whatever. They're giving the winner of this promo the option to go either Tuesday or Wednesday. Whoa. So let's say you win. You're like, shit, I got work Tuesday or I got my kid or, you know, uh -huh. I, I got to walk my dog or whatever it is. Uh, you know, you didn't call Quadrino dog care and <laughs> get them to walk your dog. Um, you can decide, hey, I can't go Tuesday. I I'd like the Wednesday tickets. Uh -huh. Now, they're both night games. You have choices. Choices. And they're going to be uh, 100 level seats. So they're not like you're giving kidding. you, you know, you're not going to just like win some tickets and they're going to stick you, you somewhere. You're getting field level of the field game of your seats. choosing to the Subway freaking series for when the free. Mets and Yankees are two of the best teams in baseball. For free. For free. From Tick Pick, which is unbelievable. So in order to win, if you're watching this live, in order to win, you're going to see a tweet from the Seven Lines account. A little after the show, like, you know, I don't know, like an hour or so, mm -hmm. you're going to see a tweet from us adding TickPick with this image. The only thing you have to do to be eligible to win is share the tweet, hit the little retweet button and make sure you're following. I mean, obviously, you're already following us if you if you go to the tweet, but yes. make sure you're following TickPick and retweet the photo. Click retweet, not quote retweet. Yeah, yeah. Don't click. Yeah, yeah. You can, Don't, but you if can, you want to be eligible, make sure you, you click the retweet button. Hit the little retweet button and make sure you're following their account. Yes. We will scroll through, um, I guess, let's say this Friday to give you the option of like, hey, Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Right. We will scroll through this Friday, randomly select the winner. We will click that person's name. If we check your name and you're not following TickPick, we're going to move on. Yeah. We're going to move on to the next person. So it's an excellent deal. Shout out to TickPick. We love their partnership. They've been awesome so far. And um, all you have to do is retweet that photo. And that's how you'll be put in the running to Very win easy. the tickets. And if you so, don't have Twitter, oops, it is so easy. Again. Don't do it again. It is so easy to sign up. Just use an email address. You can figure it out. You don't need to use it for any <laughs> other purpose. TickPick can be the only people you follow. And it would be a great decision. So Yes, absolutely. So get in on that. So speaking of the Subway Series, we are also going to be tailgating next week 
on Tuesday. I will and actually we, be at this game. Julia will actually Knock be there on wood. for a change. <laughs> uh, so hit up the sevenline.com, hit the blog button, and you'll see all the information if you haven't tailgated with us yet. But we're going to be on our, our normal spot in the marina lot, which opens pretty early compared to the the main lots of City Field. It's yes. it, the marina lot. Like people, you know, launch their boats from there and they go jet skiing, and right? Whatever. So that that lot is typically open a lot earlier. So being that it is a a game during the weekdays, there is noise again. <laughs> uh, not everyone can really get out of work early right. on a, on a Tuesday to get to the stadium. But if you can bang out early, I'm assuming that people will start getting down there at like three ish, sure. four ish. So I was going to ask you, we're doing this show next week on Tuesday. Tuesday. Right. Normal time is okay. Yeah, normal time. Perfect. Yeah. And then we'll just, you know, get our shit together and head, head to the right ballpark. Over. So awesome. meet us over there. Marina lot. If you don't know where that is, go to the sevenline.com, hit the blog. There is a map with a little pin. That's usually like where in the parking lot we're going to be. You could see here also there's the water and there's some grass here. So if you bring grills, cornhill boards, whatever you want to do, great spot to meet up right on the water. Hopefully we get some nice weather. If you want to get some more shade, though, let's say, I mean, knock on wood, but it's been pretty crappy. And, you know, with the humidity and stuff, there can be pop up showers. Right. This highway here under the parking lot goes under the highway. So you could park and get some shade from either the sun or any inclement weather. The, the marina lot's great. There's like the best of everything right there. There's an opening in the fence here and you walk straight down Seaver Way and into the bullpen gate down there. So meet us in the marina lot. We're going to be there early. It's going to be a fun time. And um, of course, I'll have some uh, Coney Islands there to pass around. Love that. First come, first serve. And I will check your ID to make sure that I'm not breaking any rules here. <laughs> So another thing we got to talk about is the postseason because people are like, oh, it's it's don't jinx it. You're you can't talk about the postseason this early. It's only July. It's only the all-star break. But you have to. I know. Because if you don't give if you don't give people information ahead of time, yeah. they're gonna say, like, you need why didn't time you let us know? Right. Right. So do we have postseason information right now? I do. <laughs> I mean, not it's not not like pricing or anything, right. but if you're a uh season ticket member, which you are right. at at the stadium with us for the home games, you automatically have the option to purchase a full playoff strip when they become available uh, for the entire postseason. Right. So the way it works is they make you purchase uh, the optional wild card game, which you'd get a refund if they right. don't have to play the wild card game. And then every single series through the world series. So it's expensive. It's yeah. like over a grand, but you have the option to then put it into your ballpark app, right. you know, maybe you want to split it with your dad or mm -hmm. your friend or whatever. Hey, you go to game one, give me whatever. Right. Um, the only other way that you're going to be able to sit with us in the section, if you're not a member is if you have sat with us this season for any of our other home games. Okay. So if you go to, let's say you went to opening day with us, mm -hmm. you're eligible. It doesn't mean you're going to get in, right? but you're in the running. You'll have a much easier right. chance to get in than the, if the ticket sale went up to the entire Mets fan public. For sure. So let's say uh, we're going to pull the screen up here. Of so like, how many extra seats other than season ticket holders are there? Well, no, we have 600 plus season ticket members. Okay. We have 859 seats. Not every member is we'll going get to get strip. a strip. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming there'll be like 350 seats available per home game okay. playoffs. Right. So, if you go to uh, the seven and you click on the part that says join the seven line army, you will see the schedule of games that we've had so far. So at home, um, well, total, we've been, we're six and four so far this season. And if you look in the schedule, it's kind of hard to see here, but all these green um, uh, dates are home games. Um, so if you happen to join us for any of those games already, you're already your account number is in the system. Right. So when the tickets become available, your account number will have access to the tickets. Got it. They're going to go quick, but that's how you get in. If you haven't joined us yet, you still have a couple options. On August 13th, which is coming up very soon, mm -hmm. is the part two of the three part bobblehead with the S and Y guys. So it's the Ron Darling one. I I this isn't blown smoke. I really think there's only like 20 tickets left. So if you go to Mets.com slash the seven line army and purchase a ticket, you get to go to this game and then you're also eligible for playoff tickets. Right. Next up will be August 31st at City Field against the Dodgers. Uh, we haven't had a Dodgers outing in a while. Mm. Dodgers are a great team. Should be an awesome day. It's $62 and those tickets go up next Thursday at 10 a.m. on Mets.com slash the seven line army. So that's how you get in. 
after these tickets are sold out for both of these outings, there's only one more available home game, and that's going to be the last game of the season. Right. Which and I can't see it from here, but I think that's like October or something. So yeah, that's how you're eligible. And people are saying, hey, that's not fair. You know, it's we, the only reason we do it this way. How is that not fair? I don't know. Because people are like, <laughs> I don't. I live in Jersey and I haven't been able to get to a home game yet this year. And I'm like, well, I'm, well, I'm sorry. But there has to be a way to make it fair. And that that's how it's fair. That's how it's fair. And, you know, unfortunately, in 2015, when we had it open to everybody, there was a lot of resellers. Right. And, you know, people thought I was like being a crybaby about it. I'm like, listen, we don't make any money off the playoffs. There's nothing. It's just an, right. it's. The Mets are like, this isn't a business. This yeah. isn't like the seven line army is holding this down and we're marking the tickets up. Right. We're just going to the game. And it's a thank you from the Mets to the seven line army for our support and whatever. So we're trying to cut back on the resellers that will like go on the site, I remember, get the tickets, go and like charge $800 for World Series. I remember game. during the NLCS, I felt so bad. There were two poor Cubs fans who ended up they in just that bought section. The tickets, didn't know. They didn't know because somebody resold them and they're just like, oh, great field level, whatever. And I... I didn't sit close enough to them to know how miserable of a time that they had, but I'm sure it was not fun. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a great time. I mean, for us to be out there for every single playoff oh game my God, that was insane. in 15 was fun and at face value. I know. And then unfortunately in 16, there was only the wild card game, but right. um, jumping all around here. But I was thinking about the wild card game today. We only got to that point in the season was because of Gaselman and Lugo. I literally was I forget who I was talking about this with a couple They got us ago. to the finish line. But I was like they were like aces that season. They were I remember that September, DeGrom got hurt. I think Matt's got hurt. I don't know if Cindergar was hurt that point. I think I don't think he played that season, right? I don't remember. I don't remember. But like to get us to the finish line, Lugo and Gaselman both stepped up. Right. And now when Gaselman gets the ball, I mean not Gaselman, Lugo gets the ball, I have like unfortunately I have like zero faith. I know. I feel and Wait, I that's feel also bad six about it, years ago. I know. I, I can't believe Seth Lugo's been on the team for six years. That was the year. I think that that year, him and and uh, Gaselman came up. Right. They stretched him out to be a starter. Where's and Gaselman the these days? I don't know. I think he got hurt last year. I don't know where he is. Poor but guy. That's the story with that. So, uh, people were texting me, like some friends that, some friends I know from like my old neighborhood that are Mets fans that have been to outings before, and they saw I post something about like playoffs and like. How do I get in? I'm like, yeah. well, I know for a fact you haven't joined us yet at the stadium yeah. this season. So, so I don't think you're getting in. I don't, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to uh, pull some strings. So. I just like don't know how people have the audacity to still ask you that. Like, uh, whatever. You know what's crazy I'll too? That. Like, I know I'm not the best with replying to a lot of things. Like, I try my best to be like as, as quickly as I can be right. with like replying to stuff. But like, I'll see stuff sometimes. Like, I run every social media account. Like, yeah. I'm, you know, I, Lizzie, I, I get it. I Lizzie and I do thing. the emails, but yeah. I run every like the seven line army, right. orange and blue thing, the seven line, my account, yep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Instagram, all of it. Yeah. So there's D there's stuff that come in on like Instagram, for instance, where like it'll be something like I intend to reply to or something. Right. And then like I don't for some reason. And then I it, it goes past and like I see someone in person like you didn't reply to me. Like I, I, I try. I know. You know what I need to do? I have to like stop opening my phone unless I know I have well, time to like commit to replying. So here's to stuff, the thing: you know? is that I. That's how I operate. Is that I'm the worst at responding to people because I. Lots of times, like I quite literally have leashes in my hands. It's I don't have the time to sit there and text long response, so I won't open it. So I'll know to go back to it later. Lo and before long response, I know your it, response are the longest things I've ever well, seen. Well, and that's another reason. Like I and I take the time to make sure my thought my responses are thoughtful and addresses everything that needs to be addressed. So there's no room for questions, and I can go on with my day. Yeah. Um. And then time will pass, and like all of a sudden, I look and I have like 35 unread messages. Messages and I could scroll through my text and like literally give like three swipes before I actually see like the unread messages because it's just so I I'm considering have you ever thought about getting a second phone for like business stuff because I'm on the verge no I well, people are writing in the comments I need like a, a social media specialist. I'm on the like verge. I, I can't it's gonna happen eventually I can't run the seven line till I'm 100 either right. it's either I'm not planning on selling the business anytime soon right. but like I wrote a tweet the other day like I said to Jay Horowitz like whatever the seven line is done or whatever. Mm -hmm. I hope that people see it as like a fun blip on the timeline of the Mets, whatever, yes. but I don't want to see tweets go out that I didn't write. You right. I mean, so like there's a certain thing like, and I love when people write like, Oh, you're going to get in trouble for this one. Like, yeah. thinking, like I'm an intern or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to write something that's like questionable. I'm an intern, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. And anyway, cause someone was released by the Cubs. Ugh. Um, oh, so God. we still have a lot to get to the train. <laughs> We still have to talk about the Redbird train. Yeah, let's talk we about it. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> but I do also want to talk to you guys about Oakland because I'm going to have to cut this sale soon because we need 
to purchase the shirts, mm -hmm. ship out the ship everything out, order the patches and all that. So I think we're creeping out on 700 so far for Oakland Coliseum. That game is on September 24th, which is the day after Shu's birthday. I'm trying to get him to go out there with oh. me. Uh, but he's got plans on that Sunday. I, I even proposed, like, we'll go Friday to Saturday. Yeah. And Make it quick. That's crazy to fly to California for a day. Two days, yeah. But we're, we're still thinking about it. <laughs> um, so September 24th, Oakland Coliseum. We have just under 700 tickets sold so far. Uh, we have more than that reserved. But we're going to have to cut the sale soon in order to get everything out in time. So 75 duck. 75 bucks a pop on <laughs> yeah. the field level between sections 106 and 109 comes with the special event patch the special event shirt which i will tell you what it's all about in a second and there's a discounted hotel block as well so if you want to you know get some bucks off and uh stay with a bunch of other fans hit that little button that says book here on our site and that's how you'll be put uh in contact with the hotel company so the shirt just got approved and it's pretty cool. I have to reach out to the person on Twitter who uh, suggested it. I usually put like, hey, we're going this place. Can you su do right. a suggestion? Whatever. And this person wrote, you got to bay leave because oh, they're in the amazing. bay. So it says you got to bay dash leave. And I wrote the seven line army on the top in an arch and athletic club instead of athletics. Ah. Under, underneath. So we're playing the athletics. It says athletic club. And it says really small underneath. It says Oakland 2022. So it's like. A shirt you might wear wear more than once. Maybe right. you go to Cali often. You watch the Mets out in you know San Fran or or Oakland, and it's you got to bay leaves. Pretty cool. That's so cool. I don't I didn't write down the person's name, but shout out to you. Shout out to you for <laughs> the cool suggestion, and the Philly shirt uh, just got approved as well. You know the Love Park sign. Yes, it's a take on that. You can't use that because it's trademarked, right. but similar font instead of the the o being tilted uh -huh. it's the mets logo so it says love ah. like that it says philly 2022 whatever awesome so that's the philly one but a lot of people suggested that and we actually have tried to do something with that in the past and got denied really that's it's a trademark right. logo so like we had to tweak it that mets logo Get should have crafty. been tilted but it's not so right. it's like you know what it is if you know if you know right you know if you know um <laughs> and and that's the story in that but so let's uh talk a little bit about next week because okay. i told you about it and I'm hoping you still uh, plan on going. Ugh, you will not believe I had a crisis that came up since then. Oh my God. Crisis mode, full effect, but whatever. <laughs> if Julia's there or not, we're still going to be there. I hope. Arugas and Pat Dog, which if you've never been, it's a great time. There's a million freaking televisions. And, um, you know, we're going to watch the game. They're going to have the sound on. Mets versus Marlins. They're playing in Miami. So no chance of a rain out. This, this viewing party will 100% happen. It is at Arugas. One West Main Street in Patchog, New York, uh, on Friday the 29th. So the way that they're going to run it is there's going to be specials throughout the night, but before the game, during the pregame, uh, you know, on Mets pregame starts at five o'clock because the game's at six forty. Um, it's going to be half price wings and half price drinks. So like if you don't happen to drink Coney Island for whatever reason, maybe right. you're a maniac, but if you don't <laughs> drink uh, Coney Islands and you want to get a half price drink, you can do that at that time. But throughout the night, if you do order a Coney Island pint, you're going to be given a, a raffle ticket. And each raffle ticket will then be pulled uh, at random times throughout the night to win a prize package from Coney Island. So shirts, hats, bottle openers, so on and so forth. So Coney Island's going to be there. We're going to be there. I'm going to have a whole bunch of giveaways as well. Uh, just seven line related things to hand out throughout the night. So maybe we'll do something for home runs like I've been doing. Ah. Um At City Field, I've been throwing out the home run apple socks after home runs. That's I forgot fun. a couple of times ago. And then I've like remember like in any late, I'm like, this is for the Pinot <laughs> run. Like I started throwing that out. So um, if you don't know much about Coney Island, I don't know where you've been because it's freaking delicious. They are located right in the Coney Island uh, ballpark. And we learned how to say the name last week. And I already Did forgot. we though? Did yeah, Mamadi though or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Someone said it in the in the comments and uh, I was able to read it, but I already forgot how to say it. So uh, hit up ConeyIslandBeer.com. Scroll down to the bottom and click on the beer finder. Type in your zip code. Find out where you can find it. But if you happen to be at a game anytime soon, they also have their mobile stand and their mobile bar located behind section 114. They have their limited seasonal releases, including the Mermaid and Merman, the beach beer. And um, you can also get in the running to win an, a phenomenal giveaway package, which they are giving away. Just by texting the word Coney Mets to uh, 855-933-4223. Just type Coney Mets, text them, and that's how you're in the running to win season tickets 
a prize package from them, including the the swag, the shirts, and all that stuff, and also a hundred dollar gift card to the brewery. If you haven't been to the brewery, go check them out. Maybe before or after a Cyclones game, they're located um 1904 surf avenue brooklyn new york home of the cyclones bunch of limited 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 releases on mm-hmm. tap indoor outdoor they had live music playing when we were there they do comedy shows it's fun. a really fun time so our, our sponsors have really fucking awesome no, giveaways yeah like, absolutely those, those are crazy subway series tickets and season tickets nuts yeah subway series ticket giveaway for next week i got I've never heard of someone winning doing like an optional yeah, day. Yeah, pick your day. Pick your day. When are you free? Yeah. When here's are you these, free? I'll work around here's you. Here's these hundreds of dollars worth of free tickets. When, do, when would you like to go? Amazing. That's great. And it's the same thing with the season tickets. It's go whenever you want. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what else do we got to chat about here? Jacob deGrom, I'm hoping for Tuesday. We talked about it a little bit ago. It might be Sunday night. Pick up a ticket on TickPick if you happen to be wanting to go. When was the last time? I mean, again, I've been so aloof. The summertime is crazy for me. But when was the last time we heard like a concrete update on him? On like well, he's pitching again today. Is? Okay. I don't know exactly what that means. I don't, it's Have not they a, said like this is going to be, if all goes well, his last? I think it just works out that way. So okay. like five days from today, today is Tuesday. Five days from today would be Sunday night. Right. Um, Mets Padres at City Field. If they decide they want to give him an extra day of rest, then it would be Tuesday. Okay. Which I'm but they're planning that this for. is their his last. I rehab think so. Start. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't think it's a rehab start. I think it's just like a uh, bullpen sesh right. or like a you know a simulated game. I don't even know what a simulated game is, uh, but that's a story for that. So uh, let's get to this train update and then call this thing a wrap <laughs> because um, Julie is laughing about it. She thought that I was like suckering people into. Uh, watching the show for this train update, clickbait. but it's not really not clickbait because okay. I I'll get to it in a second because I, I retweeted this yesterday because some people were like, Hey, I hope you're the winning bidder. Um, <laughs> let me pull this up. Why are you laughing? Cause the, pro- the, the amount that it went for. Okay. So if you didn't see the vintage Redbird subway car sold for $235,700, which is, it's so much money. A lot of money. <laughs> so when we first talked about it on the show, I was like, I could see this going for like 50 grand. I'm willing to spend Wait, 50 grand. Isn't it so crazy how our minds are blown by how much money that was? But like we were talking about Rodriguez only making 700K and how that's not a lot of money. Right. It's crazy. The different lives we live from these people. So but anyway, continue. I didn't want to blow up anyone's spot because it came to my attention. I don't even know if I told Julie about this, no. but I was... This is no bullshit. I was 100% in on buying this. Okay. And I reached out to a few people. I did have other people lined up that we were going to go in on it together. It was mm-hmm. definitely going to it was going to happen. Okay. So you know, we talked about what we're going to do with this thing. It's gigantic. It wouldn't fit in the ballpark. Like where would it go? There we were going to buy it. Okay. So we're talking back and forth this and that. The auction ended up, ended up getting extended. Okay. Like it's was supposed to stop on that Sunday and ended up getting extended. In the time between that, it came to my attention that I think I hopefully the person that bought this didn't get like scammed mm-hmm. because it is a Redbird train. But every photo you saw of this thing being promoted, whether it was a media story right. on the news, they put it up on their on their auction site was that it was a seven train. Oh, it's not. It had a seven on the front, mm-hmm. the seven train, this whole thing. The train number, I can't forget it, was 9075. Every Uh train has a number, right? So when you went to the auction site, these photos were up. Uh And you may have glanced through on the right and didn't notice that on the side it said one, the one train. On the front it said the seven, right? Right. So it was displayed. I think it's the same one. The one that I always would see was displayed on Queens Boulevard in front of the courthouse. Right. So I'm thinking, all right. Maybe the re- the reason why they put everything seven is because this is Queens, mm-hmm. right? You look up nine zero seven five train nine zero seven five, which <laughs> I have on the screen right here, because you can look up every single train. Yeah, and it's highlighted. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this train car that was for auction was never run as a seven train. So it was a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six train, <gasps> but never a seven. Right. So I was instantly out. Yeah, so as I'm, you should be. I'm like, all right, well, it's not a seven train. Right. I don't want to buy this anymore. Right. And I'm glad I didn't put in, um, any money up. Yeah. But I'm hoping that whoever did buy it. Didn't care that it wasn't a seven. Hopes yeah. that it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like the sentimental value behind it for a lot of people was that this is the last remaining Redbird seven train. Right. It's not a seven train. Right. 
So I'm glad I didn't get involved. And that's that's the story. But How for can someone they to not spend... like just like make that known. Like, uh, it seems like such a misrepresentation of what you're putting hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know what this person's whoever bought it, what they're going to do with this two hundred and yeah. plus thousand dollar train car. But for me, I was like, all right, I'm out. Like, yeah, I don't, we have no connection to the one, the two, the three, the five, set, whatever. Right. Well, seven. Yeah. But um, <laughs> that's the story. So we're out. I don't know who bought it, but the train update is that's not ours. Yeah, we didn't buy it. Thankfully, <laughs> thank God. Imagine, Imagine if up, you bought it and then realized. No, if I put up like my fifty, and I was like, "All right, yeah. I'll take like a fifth. And, right. You know, let's come up with the other two hundred grand, right. whatever it is, and pay to like pick it up and ship it, and set it up somewhere, and do something with it." And I'm like, "Fuck! Like, it's not a seven train." Uh, uh, yeah. That. Thank God. Yeah. You. I mean, I feel like not at first because it would have been so such a sore subject for the rest of your life. You would have been roasted for that one. Yeah, it would have been something. <laughs> like, oh, you got fooled. You should have like re train. read the fine print before you spend a quarter million dollars on something. <laughs> All right, guys and girls. So tonight is the All Star Game. I'm very excited to see yes. our boys at least get introdu introduced. Um, McNeil starting. Diaz is going to be pitching at least probably an inning or sure, you know something at some point. Well, more than nine guys end up. I don't know what they do because I don't they don't make them do the three batter rule. I don't know. But don't know. Diaz, I'm rocking his jersey. And did I talk about this online? Or maybe I just did it on Instagram. That you got the Diaz jersey? Right, but I think this might be the only one. What do you mean? So I, you know, I'm not trying to flex, but I do have contacts with the league, obviously, with the the seven line being licensed brand, yada yada. So I put my order in immediately. Mm -hmm. That's Sunday they announced the Mets lost that last game. I can't remember who they were playing, but they lost. And then Right after the loss, they waited like an hour on the social yes, team yes, yes. to like announce, okay, Marte, McNeil, Alonzo, Diaz, right? So instantly I put my order in. And when I wrote online that I ordered my Diaz jersey, everyone's like, well, how did you order a Diaz jersey? Right. If you go to the MLB shop, and everything's sold out now. Mm -hmm. He was never listed as an option to purchase Oh, because he jersey. wasn't announced yet? No, I just don't think that maybe they, they felt like he was a popular, popular enough player ah. to sell jerseys so like you can get a pete alonzo but i don't think that there was an option for a ds jersey so if you go into the personalized area i don't know if it allowed you to order it but if you did it didn't have like the the accent, the accent mark over the the i mm -hmm. um right it's not on the a right no it's on the i or on the i and um so i ordered mine i opened up the box i made a little video the other day and everyone was like well how did you get that so and they don't wear these either. Yeah. Like tonight they're going to be wearing you know, like this is like their the National League. Right. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck. They, no, they they wear Mets jerseys now, I think. In the game? In the game. They don't do oh. the special. These are like the they wear these during like um batting practice. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like the BP stuff. whatever it is. Yeah. Like it's it's a marketing whatever, yeah. right? So, I don't know if anyone has one of these. One of a kind. Sell it for $235,000. I should. Now I'll <laughs> trade I'll trade this to you for a train. <laughs> Um, and speaking of, of that, while I have this audience here that might be watching this, I've been asking and, uh, shout out to Dave Gibner. He was going to, uh, trade me his Harvey Jersey Oh, because it, I remember I was like, oh, yes. if anyone has one, that's my size. I kind of like, like, look, the I'm wearing the David Wright one right now. I know. I see. Yeah. I love it. My, the tags are like still in this. Yeah. And cause I'm going to wear it just today. Right. Not that I'm looking to like resell it, but I leave the tag in. Uh huh. Um, and the tags are still in that Harvey one. His the tags are off. He's worn it, I think, at least once or washed or whatever. So it's like, you know what? I'm gonna just hang on to it. So All right. um, that's the story for that. But I bumped this again because I put out this tweet the other day. Um, I'm still in dire need. How did you not get a 2015? I don't know how I fucked up. Of of any I really year. fucked up. So uh I started back in 13. Julie was wearing the Harvey one. I have that. No, right. she's wearing the right, I have the Harvey one. Uh, in 14, I got a Murphy. In 15, I blew it and didn't get one. Crazy. 16, Cologne. 17, Conforto. 18, DeGrom. 19, McNeil. 2020 was canceled for COVID. Last year, I got Walker. This year, I got Diaz. So if you're out there, and even if it's worn, whatever, I'm going to just save it. Uh, a 2015 jersey of any Met. Let me know. Who else? It was DeGrom. And who was there anyone else? I think it may have been just DeGrom. Yeah. So if you got the DeGrom jersey from 15, let me know. Let's talk price. And uh, <laughs> 235 grand. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take it off your hands if you don't want it anymore. So uh, watch the game tonight uh, or don't, whatever. Um, <laughs> at least watch the beginning and cheer on our boys yes. and, and get excited for them because it's a big accomplishment. Shout out to them. Congrats to them. And I'm hoping this game ends up in a tie and we're getting alerts like, hey, turn on. Same. Is on Fox? 
I don't know. Turn on Fox. Rooting for a tie, though. Uh, and and watch the game. Oh, speaking of Fox, I know I'm trying to get out of it. No, you're fine. Did you see on Sunday Night Baseball what they did? No. Oh, happened. my God. What happened? We got time. Uh, we do have time. Yeah, we're good. Let me see if I can pull this up. Because Sunday <laughs> Night Baseball on Fox. Um, let me just. Sorry. I, I was MIA from baseball this week. It was a chaotic week. So I'm very behind, but this is good. You like it this way, getting my reactions yeah. live on air. Oh, uh, man. Um, let me just type in Fox. Hold okay. on. Because this was the, this was crazy. Okay. So I don't know who first noticed it, but Sunday Night Baseball was Yankees Red Sox, uh -huh. right? When they go to commercial break, they put these two squares. Okay. Let me let me pull this up. If people haven't seen this yet. These two squares, right? Got over it. this, what looks like maybe a park. Okay. Those two squares, and it says baseball night in America, oh. are over the World Trade Center Memorial. <gasps> no. One square in each footprint of where the towers were. Like how Who? tone deaf. Who thought that was a good I idea? I don't know. But this spread around. People were like, oh, that's got to be fake. And then if you scroll through, like, there's the video footage straight from Fox. Crazy. I haven't seen any any retraction. I haven't seen anyone come out and be like, hey, oh sorry. Oh, my God. We didn't realize. We saw a drone shot. We saw there was an opening on, in a park. We didn't know what it was. How do you not know what that is, though? I don't know. That's but insane. Crazy. So, yes, this weekend was crazy for you. You missed it. Yeah, I miss this completely, but it, I'm in shock. That's insane. And no one has said, made any statement about it or anything. That's insane. I haven't seen a statement if there has been one. Um, so that's the story. I thought the game is on Fox tonight. Maybe it's not, but that's the reason why I was thinking about Fox. So um, share the show. Be in the running for the Coney Island swag for next season. Yes. Don't forget to retweet the, this tweet. When you see this photo go up in a little bit, uh, we're going to at tick pick and we're going to tweet this from the seven lines account you have to share this tweet and follow tick pick on friday this friday we i don't know what time but sometime on friday we will select a winner you will get two free tickets to the subway series next week you decide the day if you want to go tuesday or wednesday and uh, we'll put you in contact with tick pick and they will give you some free tickets so besides that enjoy your week mets are back at it this friday at city field 58 and 35 going into the second half, which is really more than second half because that's more than half the games. Right. Not saying this is going to happen. Don't want this to happen. If they even only played 900, 500 ball for the rest of the season, they're still going to win 90 plus games, but that's not going to win the division. I know you got to put the hammer down. Huge series coming up in August, two huge series coming up in August against the Braves. It's time to fucking do it. Let's go. Steve Cohen and the boys will not be sitting on their hands in the next couple of weeks. Better not. We'll see if Soto's a Met. I doubt he will be. <laughs> But uh, let's talk to you guys next week. Enjoy your weeks. And let's go Mets. Go Mets. Uh, where is it? Where's the button? Cut it in the box. <laughs> See you guys next week. Bye. Plus, there's a huge Mets contingent. There they are.